Hey guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this family. This is a generic model family. So um, it's a parametric um, corrugate panel. So we can. It's uh, we did this on June the second. So if we go back and then you probably uh, will find this family. So I I should have um, post. A link for this family so you can download this one um, this is we can change like the the panel and then height width okay so the first I'm going to show you is um, how can we uh, create a hole in this panel so first let me create a project and uh, I'll load this uh, family into the project so I'll load into the project and place it here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go create a new family, generic model face based. Okay, and uh, draw a void and drop the, I'll place it here. Go to 3D view, have a look, and make sure it goes down. And then use cut. Cut, cut, cut this base, and then load into the project. So now we can place on face and place it on here. So, oops, uh, hang on, it's not cutting. So let me see what's happening here. Let's try again. Okay. So, oh, it works. So, yeah. So sometimes when you cut, um some face uh, tangent to the curve face that will uh, you won't be able to cut that happens but yeah probably just move it a little bit and uh, you will be able to cut cut the okay cut the face uh, let's try again so place on face yeah so okay so just generic model face space so now let me um, let me delete this and uh, the next the next exercise is we're going to um, place a door in this panel okay so but because this is a generic model we can't place door in a generic on a in a generic model we can only place door um, on a wall but we can we can place a door in a curtain panel or oh, sorry curtain wall so what we can do is we can change this generic model into a curtain wall panel okay so so let's do it so first edit this family so I'll just go back to this family so the the, the very same uh, I show you in the beginning so so this one right and then I'm going to create a new family curtain panel curtain wall panel okay and open so now go to this uh, generic model and load this into the curtain wall panel okay and I'm going to just place it here for now so um, before before I go to elevation and try to lock lock this onto the reference plane I just I just need to change some things okay so go to edit hang on, go to edit this just edit this family and go to family type so we we will need to lock this one so single width okay so this one edit this and change this to type and okay and load back into the project oh sorry cut the curtain curtain wall panel and now go to elevation let's go click on this one so now you will see that's two handle so low, uh, drag this one to here and then lock drag this one to here and lock and also we need uh, another handle here so let's go edit family go to elevation um, we need a reference plan here to a dimension so make here it's very important 
so so the first one you will pick is this level reference level okay so if you tap you will pick the reference plan so you will need to pick the reference plan okay so now click select this dimension and then the sound is to height so now we have this instance this is the instant parameter so which we are uh, and then we will have this handle to drag this panel the height okay so load this back into the curtain wall panel family and override go to elevation click on this panel so see this is the the handle so uh, drag this up and to this reference plan lock so now it's done I, I, um, I'm not worrying about this this uh, because it should stay here there okay so now it's finished the curtain panel curtain wall panels finished let's go back to uh, project here oh sorry go back to this one load this into the project and uh, okay so now let's go to ground floor draw a ribbon oh sorry draw a curtain wall I'm just going to draw something here and uh, 3d view I'm going to change change this curtain wall so I'll just duplicate this okay so duplicate I call it corrugate call 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 Okay, CG. <laughs> okay, so um, curtain panel. I'll change this to the family six we just did, and for vertical grid, I'm going to just I'll change it to none actually. I'll change it to none. I'll just do ma do it manually, and vertical or uh, horizontal 2400. That's fine, and uh, mullions. I'll just change to change them to none. So I'll just make it more like a just curtain panel. Oh, sorry, corrugate panels with without any like a frame. So okay. And uh, you ask me, I'll oh, delete um, grid on. Oh, yes, please. So now, oh hell, we still had always oh, this still the morning. I'll delete it. Okay, I don't need it delete it and also the I'll select all delete and now we have this um, we have this curtain wall and and also you can see this is a panel so now I'll delete I'll delete this generic model so now we have this curtain wall and then we can add grid line right so for example one make one point five meter and another maybe 1.5 meter and you will see um, when there's a gap there because I actually like when I click it's not 1.5 so if I change that to 1.5 so remember we have this panel uh, that's 100 each um, wave or whatever it is so so once you have this panel at 1.5 or 1.4 meter, so it will always be perfect, perfect. Yeah, once if you change to 1450, and then you will see a 50 gap there. Okay, so now let's go back 1.5, 1.5, and if I want to add a door here, so I'm just going to grid. And for here, maybe I'll just uh, I'll just just create a 900 door. Okay, so 900 versus 900, 900. Anyway, I'll click it here, and then click on that one number 900. So now we have this 900 by 2400 door uh, panel. Yeah, and then unpin that, edit type, load. So this is under under out of this curtain wall panel folder okay and then I'll just load load this door and open and okay so now we have this door in this uh, curtain wall which 
which if I show you um, without without all these grid lines, exactly like a, a whole panel with a door inside. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'll 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 probably upload this uh, curtain wall with this door, uh, so you can download and have a look if you want to. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.